What's up guys, Jesse and Melissa here. And today we're gonna be continuing on a previous video. We are asking fellow RVers a very simple question and that is, are you happy? And then we're going to go ahead and follow up with a follow-up question of... Whether full-time RVing has made them happier than they were before in their stationary life. Yeah, so we thought this was an interesting question and we did a video on it before, but we wanted to go ahead and kind of continue this little series. Yeah, it's going to be maybe an ongoing saga and a kind of a thing that we just do on the regular. So, uh, hope you find that interesting because we think it's really interesting and it sparks up a lot of really interesting conversations that we have with some uh, fellow people that we meet on the road. My name's Scott. And I'm Kelsey. This is Stinson and... Levi's over here, our lab, <laughs> and um, I run a jewelry business through my Instagram account, Thistle and Grit, and then we also have a travel account at no.e.t.a. Awesome. Cool. And the question is, are you guys happy? And what does happiness mean to you? No. Two part. <laughs> so yeah. The first question is a two-part question. Uh, did you want to be in it? Um, <laughs> yes. Absolutely, we're happy. Um, and what does happiness mean to us? I'll let you answer that one. I would say we are happy and happier than we were stationary because we obviously get to see, you know, parts of the country that most people don't ever. Plus, we get to meet a ton of great people like you guys <laughs> along the way, and that was like an unexpected bonus of travel life that we weren't necessarily anticipating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's made it really special because we get to form neighborhoods in the middle of the desert. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we would definitely agree with that for yeah. sure. <laughs> and to us, I think it's just really nice being able to spend more time together and less time at corporate jobs that we don't enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, so that has brought a lot of happiness to us as well. Yeah, we're definitely on the same page as you, awesome. especially with like finding the RV community and like fellow nomads, like our age group, you know, is, is, has been really nice and totally unexpected for us as well. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you would agree that RV life in general has made you happier. Yep. Yes, absolutely. And like we were just talking about, like travel days are stressful, this life is stressful, things break, mm -hmm. shit goes wrong, but at the end of the day, like if you have a good mindset about it, Mm -hmm. All the good things, the people, the places, they all outweigh yeah. flat tires or breakdowns or mm -hmm. delays or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this life is definitely challenging, or yeah. it comes with its challenges, but I think the rewards outweigh it. Yeah. And totally. a lot of those out, uh, rewards are getting to be in a different landscape and having a different backyard. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to follow a dream of making jewelry, and that's something I couldn't have done living in California with California prices. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Kate and my Instagram handle is Drifter Kate. And I'm Mike. I don't do Instagram. Are you happy and what does happiness mean to you? <sighs> <laughs> All right, go. Just say whatever okay. you think. It's going to be best. Well, humans are one of the only species that can project their own happiness. So I can not only say that I'm happy right now, but living on the road, I can project being happy, hopefully, months from now, too. It's a weird thing to say. No, that's good. <laughs> Mike, do you have anything to add? I would just say that, you know, happiness on the road is being able to travel, being able to meet up with people, and have a great time doing it. <laughs> if we were stuck at home, our dog would be running around like a crazy butt all the time. So it sounds like you both would agree that RVing has made you happier than your stationary life did. I would say that RVing is the most happy we've ever been. I feel like we've just kind of found our element and, you know, been able to live a lifestyle where we always have something to look forward to. Yeah. The perennial what's next. Hi, I'm Kelly and this is James and you can find us at Life in Route, both our blog and on social media. So the first question is, are you happy and what does happiness mean to you? I am so happy. Um, yeah, loving life. Um, happiness to me, I think, is being able to 
be your, your truest self and sharing that with the world and putting yourself out there and taking chances and taking risks and connecting with others and doing in a way that feels right for you. And yeah, I have to say, pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, and for me, it's more like being able to break free of normal routines and see new places and do new things, especially on your own terms. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> so it sounds like RVing, this RVing lifestyle has made you happier than you were before. Yeah, I think so. I think being able to live life on your own terms and getting to see what the country has to offer and meeting so many amazing people and really when your home is on wheels you you have an ability to see things and do things on a regular basis that you might not ever get the chance to do otherwise so and meet people that you never would think that you meet so really yeah awesome. and we're able to do so much that we would never be able to do otherwise until probably retirement or, yeah. or something else like this really has opened up the opportunity to see things and do things and yeah. just uh, experience things that would never be on the table before. Yeah. You know, you can't fit... You can't put your life on hold. You can't fit so much of what we want to see and do into a two or a three week vacation. It just yeah. is never going to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just the flexibility and freedom. Yeah. It's just been a game changer. So. That's, that's awesome. I would yeah. absolutely agree. Yeah. I'm Matt Kavasic. I'm Kayla Kavasic. And where can we find you? Uh, Roaming the desert. <laughs> uh, he's at MKH Off Road. Okay. And then, as a family, we are MKH Adventures. Are you happy? And what does happiness mean to you? Hmm. Happiness is the hot mama. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of true. <laughs> Of course we're happy, <laughs> but uh, we can be happy anywhere, really, so. I'd say family is happy, and we're always together. <laughs> All right, and then the second part is, has RVing made you happier? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I would mean, say so, just s simplifying things, but yet still, um, oh, I mean, it sounds like spending more time with your family on a daily basis has really been a big part of that for you guys. Yes, most Absolutely. definitely. Yeah, and okay. I mean, if we're in suitable weather, we're happy. So, yeah. I mean, we're happier with friends in the desert, but uh, yeah, that's, we find it anywhere. <laughs> We've really learned more about each other and just, it, it forces us to work together and working together and complimenting each other is makes me feel good <laughs> yeah. and in the season where i'm having to work it forces kayla to become a, a troubleshooter and yes so yeah she's texts me pictures of wiring and parts and tools and how do i do this and fix things that uh yeah i'm proud of her well guys, like we stated before in our previous video on this subject, we believe that being happy is a choice to some extent. You have to wake up choosing to be happy and you have to just choose to have a positive outlook on life every single day. Enjoy the moments of joy that will bring you an overall happiness. Yeah, it uh, seems like a simple thing, but I guess it's not, but it can be if you want it to be. I think people think it's a simple thing, but it's... I mean, it is, but it's not, I don't know. It's it seems complicated, <laughs> but it's really not, as long as you're intentional about it. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so like always, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe, and if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, and you know what? Let us know your thoughts on this simple question. This seemed to be very thought-provoking, and a lot of people like this video, so we're gonna kinda keep on doing them. Yeah, and if you're interested in more, please don't forget to turn on the notifications and you'll never miss one of our videos. Thanks for watching.